Sabarish, and I'm passionate about virtual and augmented reality technologies. So what is VR and AR? Virtual reality. So essentially, virtual reality is having the ability to create new artificial worlds. So basically, you can customize your entire environment based on whatever you want and create your own new worlds. Augmented reality, AR, is having the ability to alter existing realities and add digital objects on top of it to enhance your life. So here's an example of a virtual reality app that I built called Puzzler VR. The existing devices in the market right now are the Google Cardboard, Gear VR, Daydream, Oculus Rift, and the HTC Vive. Here's another cool game that I built for the Microsoft HoloLens called Find and Fire. The existing headsets within this field are the Microsoft HoloLens, Meta 2, and the upcoming Magic Leap. So after building these small projects within the virtual and augmented reality field, I wanted to go out there and build my own product and build something that no one had done before. Generally, wayfinding is pretty hard, and Google Maps is only partially solving this problem for cars and pedestrians. I wanted to think more about indoor location and how you can navigate within these locations. So I founded Waypoint AR, and Waypoint AR is a navigation platform for indoor locations and it uses augmented reality to make navigation more intuitive. Waypoint AR works in airports, university campuses, events, museums, and much more. Waypoint AR is sponsored and supported by the Teal Foundation, and we're constantly working with them to get this product out there. So how am I building Waypoint AR, and what are the technologies that are necessary for this technology? I'm using ARKit, which is Apple's AR platform, and ARCore, which is Android's AR platform. And these two form the mobile AR category. So what are the technologies that are hidden inside ARKit and ARCore? This is visual inertial odometry and concurrent odometry and mapping. So how do these technologies work? These technologies work using your motion and sensor data and computer vision. So first, the data comes in through your camera of your environment. Then the sensor is used, sensors are used such as your compass, gyroscope, and accelerometer to find out your orientation and position within the environment. This data is then further enhanced using computer vision and finding feature points and place, uh, planes within your environment. Then these two, the sensor data and the computer vision are used to calculate your pose, which is your position and orientation with, relative to your environment. This is then used to place virtual objects within your environment. When you're in an augmented reality experience, you're obviously going to want to move around and look around these 3D objects. So when you move around, the pose needs to be recalculated every time to keep these virtual objects persistent. So Waypoint AR, there are two steps to how Waypoint AR works. First, I'm using computer vision to scan an image code, which first initializes where you're starting your experience. Then you need to simply click where you want to go within your indoor location, and you're able to navigate. So there are three parts of this. So the first part is to upload your floor plan and then to build local coordinate grids within this. So first, you have your floor plan. And then we build our local grid on top of it. So whenever a user moves within the location, we're able to know where they are within this location. Then we need to define paths, waypoint uh, targets, and image tags. For this, we first need to place the image tag in wherever we want to start our experience. And these can be placed throughout your indoor location. Then we need to define paths within these locations and from point A to point B. And this is just a simple example for that. And then within these paths, you need to define where you want to put these AR waypoints and where these are going to pop up to direct the user and to get them to their destination. The last part is to translate these local coordinates from the grid and make these into world transform targets. This is done through Apple's Core Location API. Basically, what I'm doing with Core Location is to take this data and then uh, get the location from the local grid and make it into a world transform by calculating their rotation, translation, and bearing. So once you've reached your location, you're able to learn more about the location, and you're able to uh, further experience more augmented reality experiences. So throughout my journey building Waypoint AR and other projects, a lot of companies have been supporting me, like Apple, Microsoft, the Teal Foundation, Snapchat, and Udacity. Like Nadim was talking about before, I've, I'm, I was named one of the top nine influential people within the virtual and augmented reality field just two weeks ago. 
I'm also going to be keynoting at this year's Augmented World Expo, which is the world's largest VR and AR conference. I'm going to be talking about the future of virtual and augmented reality and how it's going to impact our generation. I'm also going to be talking at this year's C2 Montreal, and Zena from TKS is talking there as well. I'm going to be talking about the exponential technologies and how these can bring connections with VR and AR. So if you want to learn more about Waypoint AR and how I'm building this and keep hearing more from me, you can visit waypointar.com and learn more about it. Waypoint AR is just my first milestone to eventually pioneering the virtual and augmented reality field. Thank you.